The focus of our research is mainly genetic analysis of peppers for uh, different traits. If the peppers worth uh, about $500 million uh, national income in the United States, and the uh, United States is the second most largest export of peppers across the world. So we thought uh, there, there is not much research going on in peppers. Using next generation sequencing technologies, we could develop a huge genomic resource. So we thought this genomic resource we develop we can be used to develop value-added peppers like uh, nutraceutically enriched peppers and disease-resistant peppers and high-yielding or uh, peppers, you know, higher fruit size pepper varieties, the diseases like cancers, diabetes and obesity are uh, prevalent and uh, we think uh, the peppers, if they are nutritionally enriched, that can solve the problem. So we are screening right now all the collections for various uh, nutrition components like uh, beta-carotene, uh, vitamin C, and uh, lycopene, and all other flavonoids. We are also doing uh, experiments on uh, cancer cells. We are using the, the chemical compound, capsaicin. We got very good data showing that uh, it uh, kills the cancer cells, the higher the capsaicin level. Uh, we have uh, the range of uh, vitamin C up to even uh, some of the varieties are 500x more vitamin C content. And similarly, some varieties have very high beta carotenes, very high lycopenes that are not existing uh, in the currently marketable uh, peppers. So if we identify the genes for these uh, nutritional components, uh, we can uh, centralize those genes into locally adapted uh, cultivars and make them really enriched. We, I am trying to develop uh, the one which is uh, suitable for uh, West Virginia having all these uh, added nutrition benefits uh, so that the uh, small farmers uh, can grow here locally.